One of the marked but rarely noted traits of highly successful quote unquote people is their ability to not hold a grudge. Recent examples are the election and the voters, the forgivers and the vindicators. Being offended, holding a grudge, claiming your right to object, standing up for principle, or however you want to cloak it, clinging to the past anchors one's self in the past. Of all the success skills and self-improvement steps one could learn, moving ahead without staring behind is the most worthwhile. So, never fire someone without a recommendation letter and never argue with people not in the room. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. When we offend others, it is very easy to sit on our little power nests we have so carefully crafted through the years and lecture others on their need to forgive us in response to our misinterpretation of their requests that we make a better life. Whether someone forgives me for whatever I may do to offend him is not my business. It is between him, God, and his relationships that his offendedness may poison. The only role I have with someone I have offended is to listen, interpret, and rectify, no matter how youthful and not my style his words are. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. When you move forward with good work, problems come out of the woodwork. Your boss may object. Your car may break down. People may falsely accuse your motives. Since motives are unseen, no one can prove a motive accusation wrong. But most of the trouble is just getting your would-be allies to understand you. Even friends trying to help will seem to slow you down. Change is an uphill battle. Here's the secret to making it work. Never talk about yourself. Not your effort, your trouble, your goals, your honesty. Just let the proof in the pudding speak for itself. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Stop grandstanding, shut up, and get to work. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Every day that we wake up and see the news, we ask the same question. What's the bad news today? You know, if it's in the newspaper, it's going to be bad news. But sunsets and our ability to see their beauty were both created by a God in heaven. He is beautiful. And he has the power to save and heal and bring such a happy ending that we remember none of the storm. Though we go through hardship, don't let bad news be your own narrative. The world around us is in darkness, but beauty can be your narrative. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Barriers of conventional wisdom never really worked. But with the 2016 election over and its consequences coming into full swing, we are seeing more and more that they fail. Now that we are seeing it, the secret is out, and conventional wisdom no longer has its hypnotic effect on the masses. Now... It's just a matter of time until this becomes the new normal and conventional wisdom gets redefined. What worked in this past election won't work quite the same way next time. So, what will you do? You don't know. No one knows. We'll have to keep watch and see. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com what do you want the story of your life to be? What do you want written on your tombstone? I don't mean what do you claim to want, but what do your actions say you want on your tombstone? Is your sexuality the most prominent item on your portfolio? Do you mostly see yourself as the one whom people reject? 
Do people who talk to you know that you will put them in their place? Do you bring peace? Do you remind people of the sunset beneath the golden linings? Do you encourage, inform, or advise? What's your auto-epitaph? That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Pain doesn't go away by focusing on it. Pain is a symptom, not a problem. Most problems need time, and the body needs strength. Focusing on our pain makes us weaker. Then the problem grows, the pain worsens, and if we don't get wise to the cycle, the cycle will snowball into self-pity. As much as we'd like to think so, other people have much bigger problems than we do. They need us to put their problems ahead of our own. In fact, as we help others, we might stay away from our own cycles of self-pity. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. America is seeing an epidemic of immaturity. People in their 20s and 30s are self-destructing like I have never known. The story is always the same. Adults in culture didn't treat me fairly when I grew up. So they injure themselves, hurt themselves, fool themselves, squander themselves, and reject themselves, all because someone else treated them wrongly. Really? An entire generation made unwise choices because they were mistreated? It's not their fault, even a little? Don't live that way. Don't hurt yourself because of others. Don't ignore good advice because someone told you in the wrong tone of voice. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. One of the most important things to understand is knowing who wants to understand. Time and again, an up-and-coming leader delegates design, manufacturing, marketing, engineering, software development, customer relations while directing brand strategy in a vacuum from whatever they delegate. Brand graveyards are littered with flowers from copywriters who quit or were fired just before the brand failed. Do your research and find out. In fact, always do your research. Work with people who do their own research. Teach people who teach themselves. Teach yourself so good teachers want to teach you. Grow up with people who grow up. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Working people mind their own business. If they get too distracted complaining about other people's problems, they make excess enemies and run a deficit of their own achievement. Survival requires getting work done. Getting work done takes time. Time requires focus, especially with all the distractions screaming for attention. Busybodies are not the threat they like to think of themselves as. When a busybody complains about you, don't worry. He's focusing on your challenges because he hasn't overcome enough of his own. Just keep working. Working people are formidable, both in daily challenges and when they are confronted by challengers. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Jesus told the story of the Good Samaritan as an irony. Originally, like busybodies, the Samaritans complained when King Cyrus ordered Jerusalem's temple to be rebuilt. King Darius, who came a few years later, ordered the temple to be completed anyway and for the Samaritans to pay for it. The Samaritans brought trouble on themselves. Had they not tried to have a better idea than the king and just gone about their business, they wouldn't have had to pay for Israel's temple. In the end, they only lost. Be a good Samaritan. Help the injured. Then, mind your own business. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Brothers can't give each other justice. They just can't, no matter how much they try, no matter how much they want to. Brothers may be slightly older or younger, slightly bigger or smaller, but they come from the same stock, the same species, the same branch. They are very much alike, so much alike 
that what helps or hurts one brother has a similar effect on the other brother. Justice must come from above. It can't traverse brothers. For punishment or reward, opportunity or confinement, brothers can't find justice between each other separately. Brotherly justice can only be achieved together. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. We would think that someone who accurately predicted a future event should be the talk of the press. All the pundits should want to pick his brain. All the major media anchors should want him as a guest on their shows. Right? But the dirty little secret of the news industry's intoxicating power is its power to create news, not report it. If you predicted an outcome different from the mainstream, you don't know more about events than the pundits. You are their enemy who shaped events how you wanted them, rather than letting them shape events how they wanted. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Whether brain or brawn, there are two worldviews about where strength comes from. Some believe strength is arbitrarily bestowed from above. We on earth are mere objects of favor and misfortune. Those with more stole it from others in this grand zero-sum game called life. Only the poor understand wealth. Others believe strength comes from hard work and choosing battles wisely. Working people are strong in mind or body or both. Peaceful people don't deplete themselves of their energies and are fierce when roused to arms. Both have unfair advantages to exploit and hard choices to make. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com There are two types of reasons people predict the future. The first type is common to everyone. We try to predict the future to see how well we know the past to guide us to accurately anticipate what will happen next. The second reason is more of the psychopathic reason and unfortunately is the hidden reason for many of us. The second reason for predicting the future is because we prefer our prediction to become the future. Sometimes this is called wishful thinking. Believing something will happen and agreeing that something should happen are two different things. Don't be confused. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Half of society has decided they don't want to be told what to do. It's not that they don't want to be bossed or controlled. It's not that they want freedom, though they tell themselves such. Actually, they just want everything to be their own idea. They don't ask whether their actions will succeed or fail. They don't ask if something is good or bad, desirable, healthy, painful, useful, wise, or quite the opposite of all these. They only ask whether someone is telling them. If you tell such people, go, thrive, and succeed, they will fail on purpose. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Many times, people's decisions are wrong, but they have the authority to decide. Maybe they should change, but arguing with them won't help once their decision is final. You can't change others. But don't quit. Be a boss. Fix problems under your control. Everyone has some. Start new things. Inspire people or publish your dissenting opinions somewhere useful. Just accomplish something Music lessons for pigs are annoying and achieve little. If you try to teach pigs to sing, consider that you might be wrong and your boss has accepted it and already moved on, which is why he's the boss. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Jesus warned that a prophet is never welcome in his hometown. Even his mother and brothers treated him like he was crazy at times. But this was not a rule that a prophet must conform to. It was a warning to the hometown and family. We have a natural tendency to think less of people in our close circles. Think of the logic of that. 
No one close to me could ever be brilliant, so anyone I know who talks big, I'll put him in his place. Don't do that. Strange as it sounds, heed good ideas, even from friends. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Some people would bend rules of gravity with friend or enemy to reward or punish all as they see fit. Others give justice even to enemies. We prove which type of people we are in the small things. As such, gravity, being both jealous and powerful, takes note and agrees with us. Those who would bend gravity become the objects of chronic bad luck, while chronic good luck finds those who respect universal justice. There are two ways to create good and bad luck. One is agreement with gravity. The other is work ethic. That is most everyone's life story. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com The amount of hard work needed to survive is unfair. But so are the payoffs. Every victor, every winner, every success story did an unfair amount of hard, smart work. Too much, in fact. That's why they make victory look so easy. Don't be distracted by fairness. Nothing is fair. Even your strengths. Everyone has an unfair advantage and an unfair disadvantage. Oftentimes, they are the same. What makes it fair is hard work and self-honesty about why hard work fails. Keep going. Once you've done more work than you need, you'll be rewarded more than you deserve. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. To most people, the work necessary to finish and succeed feels like too much. As you progress, as you advance and move forward, you start to sweat. You get tired. You get exhausted. You get hungry for food so much that you can easily forget about your hunger to finish. It even looks like too much. People watching see neither results nor your vision. They only see your exhaustion. If you're running a race they have not run themselves, they think you're just abusing yourself. So they'll tell you to quit. Love yourself, they'll say, but they just can't know. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Walking your talk isn't easy. Best to just make your walk first, then talk from it. Never make any commitment until you've determined that you can and will do what Ever it takes to keep that commitment. But why is it so important to keep every commitment? What promises are most important? Promises that promise the greatest return? The most important promises to keep are whatever the most difficult are to keep. Keeping challenging promises makes us challenging promise keepers. Only God keeps every promise. He reserves the most promising promises for people who keep theirs, especially the small and difficult. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Among many, one trait fails to set Christians apart from all others, blame shifting. We all like to blame our problems on someone else, our obstacles, our challenges, our injuries, but for Christians, we have one bigger problem that forbids us, supposedly, from doing so. The doctrine of sovereignty. God is sovereign. He has power over everything, everything. Nothing happens to me which has not first passed through the approving hands of my Father. No matter how painful, unfair, inconvenient, all things that happen to me are for my own good if I am truly a Christian. That's hard to accept. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Judging is a technical skill. Like anything else, it requires study and practice. Parents, teachers, supervisors, even police, landlords, waitresses, and pizza delivery guys 
operate as judges from time to time. The rest of the time, among peers, we don't judge. We only have an opinion. If we do well in smaller courts of life and have good opinions among our peers, eventually other people will ask us to judge them. Some call this job promotions. Others call it getting the girl, respect from children, or winning elections. It starts with being serious in whatever small things we may judge. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. There are two great self-realization epiphany moments in life. I am different from my ideas, and it's my fault. Knowing that you are not one and the same with your ideas liberates you. You can change your ideas like a pair of shoes. Someone criticizing your ideas won't insult you personally because they are merely criticizing your ideas, not you. Knowing something is your own fault frees you to do something about it. You can't change anything or fix any problem unless it's your own fault. Maybe it's your own fault for not having improved. So, try on this idea. It's your fault. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. The problem with the world isn't money. It's fairness. Life isn't fair. It's extra kind to rich people and extra mean to poor people. What can we do? Jesus said that the poor would always be among us. He didn't give them money. He healed them to give them justice. So did his disciples in Acts. Isaiah 11.4 says that Jesus is the judge who gives justice to the poor. So don't love money. Don't hate money either. Just give justice to the poor. Use your money to give justice to the poor and to make other people give justice to the poor. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Coders generally have their own styles and preferences that artists don't understand. So who is supposed to write art software? Coders actually write it. Artists actually use it. Coders don't get along with artists or each other. One guy changes his software, coders who use it spend more time learning his changes than improving their own software. 5% more cooperation would eliminate 95% of software glitches. But coders don't cooperate with anyone. Christians fight more and produce even less. Cooperation is such a struggle in coding If Christian amateur computer programmers just got along, they could revolutionize the software industry overnight. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Expanding your borders won't solve your problems. Expanding your borders while you have problems only expands your problems. Solving your problems will effortlessly expand your borders. Where do you put your effort? If you focus on how other people are to blame for your problems, you will find the excuse you need. Then you can have problems and someone to blame for them. But your own problems will never go away until you can focus on how you yourself are to blame. So, put all your effort on your own blame, no matter how small your blame borders on being. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Christians' reputation precedes them. They do a terrible job at nearly everything, argue with each other all the time, and look down on the rest of the people who keep the world spinning. Why? It's small thinking. 
They believe that one way or another, meeting Sunday morning is more valid. It's not that Christians think that Christians are better than others. It's that they think Sunday morning is better than others. But if God made everything, isn't every day equally valid? Isn't all fellowship equally real? If Jesus is so big, Sunday morning is too small for him to fit. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Everyone wants an opinion, but not everyone understands. This goes for many topics, politics not the least. What is the purpose of a political opinion? To be angry at others? To blame others? To think you have all the answers so you can sleep at night? To make the world a better place? How's your goal going? What evidence do you have that if you had to put money on your political opinion being right, you wouldn't lose everything you own? When you are proven wrong, do you reevaluate your opinion making process? Without reevaluating, opinions won't ever prove right. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Eating the bigger fish won't make smaller fish bigger. Putting a glass ceiling above the people above you won't stop you from hitting your head on a glass ceiling. Bringing others down won't help you ascend. Big fish eat little fish. Little fish don't want to be eaten. By keeping the little fish safe, the big fish starve. All you need to do to make all life fair in the pond is to protect the little fish. Preserve their freedom. Attacking big fish is only a distraction. Such an effective distraction that provoking attack could be a big fish tactic. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. You can go to anyone and get an opinion about anything. Why do you think your opinion is worth having? What is your basis? Do you go to the deli or gas station to get an opinion about what medical treatment you should take? Some people are proven right about politics over and over who would get elected, which problem is a problem, what scandals are real. The best way to evaluate an opinion is by results. Follow the money. Follow the results. We must treat results as if they were intended because if they weren't, then they were incompetent. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele jessesteel.com. Strange as it seems, try this idea on. God wants us to design galaxies in the afterlife. Preparing to design galaxies now is his solution to our problems right now. Is that pie in the sky? We don't want to keep our eyes on the sky so much that we don't keep our eyes on the ball. Then again, Designing galaxies could strengthen creative thinking. Today's challenges may only be overcome creatively. Looking at the sky a little more may keep the ball from getting lost in the sun. It may not seem urgent, but a galactic perspective ain't bad. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Things never turn out exactly as we plan them. They don't turn out how we expect for ourselves, nor for our friends, nor for our enemies. We can and should plan, prepare, hone our skills, and always be ready. But don't go overboard. Don't fear your enemies. They have enough of their own battles and surprises. Instead, give enemies a little more respect, a little less fear, and a little less hate. At the end of the day, we all are pieces on the grand chessboard of the universe, subject to the surprises and strategy of the grand chess master. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, 
jessesteel.com. The best method for negotiation is to know your minimal self. There are many tactics and theories taught by many people. There's the I don't need you, I want you tactic, also a truth. Then the you owe me and that's your problem tactics, plus the famous over aim to get what little you want tactic. But the best method is to know your minimal from the beginning. Declare it from the outset and stick to it. If you can compromise a point after 20 hours of talk, you never really wanted it in the first place. You should know that. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Encouragement never hurts. Sometimes we need truth, especially when truth is as hard to find as it is to hear. Sometimes we need correction, all the more when we're going the wrong way. But we always need encouragement. Encouragement is not a blanket claim that any ambition can be achieved by any amount of effort or by any means. Whether chasing a goal or seeking a goal to chase, remember that success awaits everyone on the condition that we pursue the right goal in the right way with the right effort. That's encouraging. Remind yourself. Remind everyone you meet. Encourage. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Don't be alarmed over politics. Politics are almost always predictable in an unpredictable way. The more you study history, the less you'll be surprised by any curveballs, politics notwithstanding. Many people try to explain or understand political leaders whom they despise. But it's difficult to understand someone you don't respect. And it's difficult to respect someone you fear because you misunderstand. So don't try to understand today. Try to understand what happened yesterday. Try to know what happened yesterday. Don't be alarmed by today's bad news. Live today but study the past, then life just might be less alarming. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Name-calling never got anyone anywhere. Don't confuse name-calling with nicknaming. Nicknames are descriptive terms for friends and enemies, terms like Rocket Man, W, a.k.a. The Shrub, President Hairdo, and Slick Willie. But name-calling isn't objective, can't be endearing, and only serves to vent frustration from people who can't bring the change they want. Don't call people moron, brain-damaged, stupid, or buffoon. Don't imply it. Don't talk like it. In fact, say so when other people do. Calling names is one's own surrender. It's the loser throwing rocks at the tanks entering his city. Don't ever be that guy. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Don't overreach. Don't overdo it. It's easy to think that high standards always help. High standards can help, but not if they become entry-level requirements. Allow people to grow. Allow yourself to grow. Allow on-ramps everywhere in your life. High standards are not about expecting every rookie to start out as a seasoned pro. We don't only want to set high standards. We want to reach them. Search for potential. Allow for the best. Teach and encourage even the worst. When people excel, get out of the way. Above all, look for passion. Anyone can learn anything when fascinated. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Perseverance, endurance, persistence, and just not giving up are more than wheel-spinning motivationals. They are specific reasons why some things only happen if we keep going. Burning calories, to name one. Sexy muscle tone, athletic reflexes, instinctive self-defense, and merely good posture are acquired through repetition. 
The same is true of music, dance, art, programming, carving wood, pottery, knitting, cooking, and even friendship, leadership, and, most importantly of all, servanthood. Almost anything you are trying to get done includes continue somewhere in the instructions. They say time heals many wounds. And that's true. As long as your body keeps going. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Anyone can think the sky is falling when the other guy wins an election. Friends say what we don't like, we make baseless insults, then we complain about a divided nation. If you've enjoyed the same old bland, partisan, well-mannered non-progress for years, then a populist like Obama or Trump comes along to rub you the wrong way, well, anyone can go loopy. Some of us grow thick skin before others. Post-election conniptions are normal. Don't blame people for having them. Don't join them either. Spread some love. Focus on the problems in the bathroom mirror, not the rearview mirror. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Opponents are as easy to find as opinions. Neither are worthy commodities since they come in overabundance. No matter who you are or what you do, however good or bad, someone will always tell you you're right and someone will always tell you you're wrong. Knowing which voices to heed and which to ignore comes from proof. Hearken to people who have done and proven that their ideas actually work. But that proof of competence test should come earlier. First, choose your destination wisely. Then heed the voices who want you to get there. They are your true constituency. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Love wins. Reconciliation has power to save us from all kinds of evil. Lincoln said, Do I not destroy my enemies when I make them my friends? Sinatra said, The best revenge is massive success. Killing, crushing, smearing, destroying, controlling, oppressing. They never silence innocent blood from crying out for justice. They only make the cry louder. Humans don't hunger for death. We are only satisfied when friends have life and enemies become friends. If we can't outshine the darkness, then there's no point in striving. After all, humans are not the enemy of humans. Our enemy is quite inhuman. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. What did it feel like when Jericho's walls fell? Either you were the enemy inside, the enemy outside, or the harlot who helped the spies. Boom, everything falls, dust everywhere. Is there time to worry about what the guy next to you is doing wrong? Do you still have the luxury of pointing your bloody finger at the hypocrite you chose to live next to? No. When the defenses are down, the enemy charges, everyone runs wild. All you can do is hold your own. That's recompense. Whoever did whatever wrong, victory goes to whoever minds his own affairs best. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Build patiently. Productive people naturally feel like they have more projects than they can ever accomplish. Everyone feels this way at some point, that life is just not long enough. Actually, that's a feeling of youth and ambition. Part of maturity is wanting to accomplish things in the small time life allows. Overcommitting and feeling the pressure of our own decades-long to-do lists isn't the most mature feeling, however. It's just another step in the process of growing up. Learn early on to let go of the lists you make, to wait, work, and love, all at the same time. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. We easily presume that survival requires certain instituted structures and systems to overstay their welcome. But that's mere nostalgia. Institutions, though necessary, are less necessary than we think. 
that which is erected by man will always be outlived by man. When society does things in a better way, that better way will always downsize some jobs, but many more work opportunities will spring up in their places. Better and better systems will be invented by the synergistic combination of opportunity and necessity. In that process, humanity sheds institutions as a snake sheds its skin. Life always finds a way. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. We never know what we don't know. If someone wants to talk, listen. Cult think mentality easily fills our fears with mental constipation. They want to sell you snake oil, it says. Don't let him speak. He will cast a spell on all who hear. Cult think never solves problems. If someone wants to talk, listen. There is no good reason not to listen. They may want to warn, defect, apologize, or even attack again, but it doesn't matter how evil they are or have proven to always ever be. If someone wants to talk, listen for one reason. You're not telepathic. And that's the point. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com I'm angry. So I'm going to throw apples at the hunter. He already hunts me and seeks to eat me. I'm going to annoy him and make it easy for him to find me. I'm going to act a fool because I'm mad. I'm going to tell myself that he doesn't treat me fairly so I can sleep at night. That attitude defines enraged masses who will never be happy unless they can hate being slaves. Don't join them. Instead of being angry at a dark world, be the sun that shines on it. Encourage people. Smile. Lift. Destroy darkness with light. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com The relationship between light and darkness relates to direction. Light travels in all angles and all directions from the source. Shadows, however, are not omnidirectional. They only travel away from a light source. A light that only travels across or down or over or up is not any true light. It may be redirected light, but the source of light shines in all directions. The only shapes like triangles or lines that occur naturally are shadows. Light does not discriminate. Shadow makers do. Light does not favor directions. Shadow makers do. Don't try to choose and pick so much. Just shine everywhere. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com we must help ourselves before we can help others. Part of this principle comes from the law of basic experience. One can only teach what one has done. Part of this principle comes from basic safety in lifeguard training. Don't become a victim yourself. You can't save a drowning victim if you drown in the process. Charity and compassion can become distractions from our own problems. They can even become addictions, both helping others and distracting us from our own problems. Take time to search your own soul. You'll make a far bigger difference when you help others by example. And that's the point. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com